You know, sometimes I wish that I could just control other people, you know, and the addict in me wants to say, I, if people would just hang out with me more, <laughs> they wouldn't do more of the things that they do. And that's just ego, you know, talking, but God, people make dumb decisions, man. And watching people fail at this game is, it's heartbreaking and it, it just, man, gosh. They tell you that, you know, things get easier as you get sober, and certain aspects of your life do, but, you know, over the, the year or two of sobriety, anxiety, if you're like me, I live with anxiety, and it could be money, it could be work, but people are probably the number one cause of anxiety in my life, and I have to accept the fact that I don't have control over people, you know? The only life I have some sort of control over is my own. Anyway, I wanted to talk about anxiety today. Let me get home and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Oh, man. You know, if I'm being totally transparent here, if you were to take a step back, you know, a year and a half ago and were to look at the decisions I was making in my life, you'd be like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You know, you got everything going for you. A job, a lady, all kinds of stuff. And... The decisions I was making, I mean, you would be like, this, this is insane, you know? And I think that way a lot because I live with anxiety. And I used to cope with that by drinking all kinds of amounts of alcohol. And when I decided to change that, parts of my life got better. Other parts sort of just finagled their way into there, such as people. People tend to be kind of dumb. Sorry to say that, but not everybody makes the right decisions and not everyone is going to do that. And you have to accept the fact that you can't control people. I can't control everything. You know, my life is, is, is great, but there are certain things in life that just happen and at a windfall because things outside of your world will change no matter what you do. Let me get changed real fast. We'll talk a little bit more. All right. Let me be the first to tell you that if you have anxiety, it's not your fault, okay? Everybody is born with something at one time or another that, that gives them stress, anxiety in their life. So don't think that you're the only person out there. You're not alone. That's just a, a part of life. Anxiety comes with all kinds of new things. Um, and you know, anxiety leads to a lot of bad things. I made a video already on uh, depression recently. I'll leave a link to that up here. But if you haven't watched that, know that anxiety causes a lot of problems. If it's later in life, I mean, it could lead to heart failure. It could lead to um, all kinds of elevated different uh, chemicals released into your brain. You know, you, you get angry. You get um, really frustrated. And those are all parts of uh, anxiety. Um, the worst being depression. And, you know, I, how to live with that is, is a tough thing to talk about. If we're being transparent... This channel is an outlet for myself and a few others to, to talk about these things because this is a hobby that I need. I've got to open up about the things that are going on in here. Otherwise, they get bottled up and I just explode at some point. You have no reason to keep things inside. And, and you know, sobriety is an emotional decision. If you think that you're going to go through sobriety to control your emotions, that's, that's not how this works. The point of getting sober and getting rid of our vices and trying to get over things like depression and anxiety is so that we can understand our emotions. Not so that we can control them, but understand them. I don't have a perfect way of understanding you know, all that's going on up here, but one way I do that is by opening a dialogue with you guys and then with friends and people uh, that are close to me. And, to be honest, what that's uh, done is created better relationships with everyone that I know. And um, the ripple effect is just insane. When people see that you are you know, excited and happy about life, they are too. I know that every day is going to be different than the last. And I don't approach every day thinking that I'm just going to be happy-go-lucky when I wake up in the morning. That's just not going to happen. But what does happen is I, I wake up with intention. Like, my goal today was to go to work, be there and and be helpful to the, the team that's around me and to influence somebody by doing a little extra, you know, that 1% more every day. And that tells somebody else, you know, hey, I got to keep trying. I can get up to his level, right? 
Sometimes it's hard to wake up in the morning and keep going, um, especially when people around you are not doing the things that they need to be doing to stay sober or uh, to just be better. It can be frustrating, but you know, in order to keep going, I use other people's failures as a reason for me to keep spreading a message, a message of hope, a message of, um, or a design for better living and to be just a little bit better every day. Don't think that you're going to succeed all the time. Failure is just a part of life. And when we fail, we've got to get back up and just keep trying. Sometimes it just doesn't seem like even trying is working. But to be honest, if you're making an effort, then you're doing something right. And someone will notice. So if you've failed once, don't stop. Keep trying and trying. Open a dialogue. Talk about the things that you're doing with someone that you love. Maybe call a friend. I did that yesterday and a friend of mine helped me get out of an emotional state that I was in about someone else that had done something, you know. But that's the power of conversation. Anxiety is a negative thing, but you know, sometimes I'm, I'm thankful for it because if I didn't get frustrated, I, I wouldn't have anything to understand. Um, I wouldn't have any reason to move forward with trying to be a better person. If you are angry or if, if Maybe you're just confused about certain things. If you try to understand those emotions, it'll move you along to a different tier as a person and a human being. Try to understand your emotions, you know? Don't react when things happen. Just take a minute, take a breath. Breathing really works. And think before you act. Anyway, that's all I got for the day. If you get a chance and you haven't already like liked, commented, and subscribed, all that, do that. Purchase a shirt. We've got links down in the description. All of our merchandise is 100% profit given towards the Pines and Katy Hill of Columbus, Mississippi to help someone else go through sobriety. We got a goal of reaching $1,000. We're at the $300 marker, which is so exciting. Thank you for all of that help. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.